What is up everybody? It is Wick here and we are at a community sale and there's maybe 12, 15 sales I hit this morning and uh, you're coming along with me. So we're looking for some stuff to flip on eBay, Amazon, maybe some video games to collect, some retro games. You never know what we're going to find. That's what makes it exciting. So we're digging here. I got the GoPro. Uh, I don't have it mounted because I can't find my mount. Uh, I don't know where it's at right now. So I'm going to have to get that found. Um, it's easier to wear. Sometimes it's easier just to hold though. And you can get better footage because uh, you can kind of move your hand around and zoom in and zoom out. If I'm just wearing it, it's just kind of, you know, wherever I'm looking. Um, it's nice though when you're digging because I can't really dig <laughs> and record at the same time. But yeah, we're looking here. We got some Christmas items. We got some more Christmas items. Just some junk. And I recognize this sale right away. I've actually been here before, probably two years ago. That's one problem with community sales. You just see the same stuff over and over, the same houses, and it can be really thin sometimes. Uh, here we are at a rummage sale. And this kind of frustrates me a lot with these sales, especially this community sale. This sale started Monday. I'm at this sale on a Thursday. Why did they start it on a Monday when the community sales start on Thursday? Uh, officially, people also have sales you know, throughout the week on Wednesday. So you get here to these community sales. I drove an hour to get here. That is a dirty Cabbage Patch doll. Oh my goodness, her face was so filthy. But you drive an hour to get here and all this stuff has been picked through for days. Um, it's just kind of annoying. I wish everyone would just have their sales at the same time. Uh, here's a, an off-brand Barney plush I'm looking at. It has like a little bit of hair on top of his head. I don't know if you can really see. Um, there it is, briefly, some blonde hair. Uh, the tag was not a Barney tag. Same like year 92 when Barney was popular. We got some really dirty Elmos. And this is the scraps from this rummage sale. I bet it was a killer sale. It's just unfortunate, you know. It's just not really anything left. Everything was dirty. So yeah, we're looking though, we gotta look. There's some pirated movies. I like to find the old like TV shows maybe that were recorded and you can get some of the old vintage commercials. Some of that kind of stuff actually is worth money. I can't legally sell it on eBay. So you have to sell those tapes as blank tapes. Um, that's what you gotta put in the description, but blank tapes with commercials. Um, I, it's it's weird. It's a market that you know I know about. I just never really messed with it yet. I don't haven't really found any good tapes. So here's something: a big bolo money maker. Make real money from blank paper. That's exactly what the box says. Make real money from blank paper. Wow, what a just a lie. Chinese product. Um, box full of them there. So yeah, can't go wrong with that. So here we are in another sale. Just walking around and you know you hate to see this kind of just kind of basic type junk i'll call it <laughs> here i'm testing this keyboard to see if it's mechanical you can hear a clicky sound mechanical keyboards and they can be worth hundreds of dollars certain ones so they're worth checking especially the gaming keyboards some of the old vintage like ibm mechanical keyboards are worth picking up and yeah we're looking through here <laughs> Clothing, you know, I dig through some of it. Uh, if it's like maybe vintage. I did find my first item here. I just don't have it on camera. I uh, picked up some shoes. So yeah, we're just continually looking through these toys here. That's another thing with yard sales and community sales. I get so much footage. I just can't show it all here because it would be two hours worth of just footage. And trust me, a lot of this stuff is not interesting to look at. Uh, let me know, though, if you see something I may have missed or I should have paid more attention to. Uh, but I feel like I, I did pretty well at these sales. Again, there just wasn't a whole lot to to see. It's just a lot of you know stuff that just gets recycled every year at this community sale. Books, trying to find some Stephen King books. Um, any book, really, that looks interesting. Been making some good money on the vintage Stephen King books. There's a, one of those surfboard uh, routers. I've sold those before for pretty decent money. New, however, that one was not new. Free boxes. We always look at free boxes. I have found a Nintendo 64 in a free box before. Absolutely crazy. To make it even more crazy, it was like 4 o'clock in an the afternoon uh, on a busy road. Uh, no reason that should have been in a free box that late in the day or even a free box at all. 
it just goes to show you, you have to look, you have to dig, and um, yeah, you never know what you're going to come across. I've come across other, like, uh, ooh, I got a sale. I got some other um, good items in free boxes, like VCRs and stuff, too. So there's some Doc Martin steel toe shoes, $5. Now I'm getting a, a spam call. I'm sorry, I meant to turn off my phone. Um, yeah, so Doc Barton's that dirty for $5. I'm not interested. We got a Sony um, music system here, $30. I don't like messing with these big ones. I think it was okay priced, I guess. Um, even if it was $5, I probably wouldn't pick it up, even if there's a little bit of money to be made. And the sale I was just at, I didn't get it recorded, but I found a super rare item. Um, I actually left the sale. I walked out. Um, almost back to the car and I'm like, you know what? Something's tugging at my heart. I need to look that up because I know some of them are worth money. It's not the type of item I usually pick up. Of course, you know, I have a haul at the end of this video. We'll go over everything I picked up. I picked up something here as well. And uh, I don't think I got that on camera either. Uh, I always end up just turning my camera off right before I start finding stuff, it seems sometimes. Um, let's see if we get it. Looking at some clothing here, trying to find some vintage clothing. I dug through it. Yeah, right, right about, just a little further. No, I turn right back around and go this way. So <laughs> I don't know why I done that. But yeah, it was something I could make some money on. So here we are at this sale. It is a very busy sale. This must be one that actually started today and had it been going on because there's a lot of stuff, a lot of people. You could tell it hadn't really been picked through. Look at all those VHS tapes. Every sale you go to, there's some good VHS tapes to look for, uh, but most of them, no. Down here, I spot some interesting shoes I'm trying to look at. We got Hoka 1-1s and more Hoka 1-1s and some Hokas, like seven pairs of Hoka shoes. We got Brooks. If these would have been in good condition, this would have been a mega score because they're all shoe brands and types and models that would sell in the $50 in good condition. Unfortunately, they're just way too beat up uh, for me to mess with, even to take the time to clean or try to mess with. I don't even know what the price was. So we're trying to get through, trying to look at stuff, but there's just people everywhere. It's always frustrating at sales when there's so many people. Um, but yeah, we come over here in this corner try to find something. I see some Christmas stuff. I see some electronics. We're trying to get to love looking at the electronics. Something sealed up here, a little armband radio for 50 cents. So we grab that. We can make some money on it. Sony, always pay attention to that brand. Now I'm getting eBay messages. Probably with somebody wanting to cancel the order they just bought. That seems to happen daily. <laughs> they buy something and then want to cancel it right away. So yeah, we're not seeing a whole lot over here. We did grab that armband radio. Too bad it wasn't a sealed Sony Sport armband radio. That would have been a very high dollar item. Sealed Planet Hollywood and an opened Planet Hollywood. I don't remember what the price was, but it wasn't worth picking up. That game, it's like $9 new on eBay. Uh, I don't know what it is on Amazon. Over here is a baseball glove, $10. So I pay some interest to th in that. Uh, look up the model has a model on it and yeah, it's worth picking up. We're at a new sale <laughs> Of course digging through a free box trying to find something and didn't really see anything some dirty socks You know not trying to buy dirty socks to sell So we just move on inside What do we see? Just the same kind of stuff. It's just kind of like blah, right? We want to see some electronics we want to see video games. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people want to see the stuff that's at these sales. Uh, they want to see the kids clothes, clothes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, but we're just looking around here. Here's some shoes, some ASIC, ASICs gel Nimbus. Pretty good shoes. Unfortunately, they had a tear on them. Uh, so I don't want to buy those. They had a little bit of wear on the bottom. Too much of the, the grip. Uh, the tread on the bottom of the shoe is gone. It's not worth picking up. Here's a car for $5,600. Um, didn't have enough cash on me to pick that up. I would have had to went to the bank. Some hats. Uh, didn't find any good hats today, unfortunately. Garage sales are the great place to find those vintage hats that can sell for great money. 
Oh, some toys, not really much. This, this looks like a sale that probably has been going on for a day or two. So yeah, we're just gonna move on. Don't really see anything that's going on here for me. Where are we at now? Looking at some books and <laughs> trying to find something. Got some movies, VHS, of course. I didn't see any like of the horror VHS, any rare VHS. And, uh, you know, some look like cleats on the bottom, dirty. See some electronics, just kind of waiting for this guy to move. But it was just a an old monitor somebody wanted $20 for. Got some antique stuff over here, some old rusty horseshoes. Looks like a flea market table, doesn't it? Um, typical stuff you see at flea markets. Uh, not really worth a whole lot online. People don't really buy that kind of stuff online unless it's something unique or special. Could have been something there. I doubt it though. Here we are at a sale. An air fryer for $60 used. Um, it's a bad start to the sale. Looking over here, we got some horses, some plush. Everything here was priced kind of high. So uh, another Planet Hollywood game. I don't know. This area must have been really into Planet Hollywood board games. Or maybe it's just stuff that they've been trying to sell for the last 10 years at a community sale. And then we spot some stuff up here and we got the printouts. We hate to see it. Uh, somebody printed out an Amazon website and a Lowe's website for these products showing what they're worth. When you see that, you know, it's it's time to go because these people are not going to give you any really good deals, more than likely. So, yeah, we got some wind blowing outside. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> There's a random Venom. I feel like I saw this Venom. It's probably in a vlog. Oh, man, I didn't come to this sale last year because of COVID, but it seems like there's just a lot of recycled stuff. But you got to go. You have to grind it out. And I did find some pretty decent items. So, yeah, it is now the next morning. I hadn't recorded my my haul portion for this video yet. And uh, I came across a sign for a rummage sale I had no idea about. So I rush over to it 30 minutes late. It, it really frustrates me because I look for these sales and they just don't advertise them well. I, I Why can't I find these? Um, I shouldn't have to randomly run into a sign. At least I saw the sign. Um... <laughs> But yeah, we're here. We're looking. More keyboards and uh, hopefully trying to, to find some keyboards this year that I can pick up. So ergonomic Microsoft even. And yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot here. A little DVD player. Haven't found any VCRs or combo units yet at sales this year. Rummage sales or garage sales. Here's something I, I recognize. A Logitech trackball. Uh, unfortunately not a great model, but we can still make some money at 50 cents. Of course, I don't have an Ikea bag because I didn't know the sale was going on. This lady next to me, she's, you know, got an Ikea bag. She's in this dark corner trying on shoes that she wants to buy. I get it. Um, no returns at rummage sales, so you want to make sure your stuff fits. Yeah, so we come over here to the books, and I dug through all these books. And I did find a Harry Potter book. I uh, didn't find anything else of value that I recognized. So yeah, um, books, <laughs> you could, an Amazon seller may sit there and scan every single book. Probably not worth it with those books. A lot of, uh, fiction. So yeah, Christmas stuff. I know a lot of people like to buy it, but I only look for the unique vintage items, but yeah, I think it's time to go home. It's time for me to show you what I picked up. Here it is. Here is the haul from the first community sale of the year and then one rummage sale the next day that I had no idea was happening, just happened to <laughs> see a sign. So let's just start down here. It was kind of slim pickings. Uh, this sale didn't have that many sales going on. But we were able to find some decent items. I got these Sperry boots. Uh, well, not really boots, they're more like shoes, I guess. Paid $15 for these, but they're brand new. And there was a comp on eBay for $75. That was the only listing. So you know what? I'm just going to price these probably $59.99 plus shipping. And just try to move them. And we'll make some decent profit on them. You can see right here I got very tempted to buy these Skittles. And caved in <laughs> 50 cents. It looks so good. It looked like a good deal. And I love me some Skittles. So <laughs> yeah. I went and bought those. And then we got this awesome thing here. This Reliance. 
home warning system, new seal. Now, what was it, two weeks ago, I went to some rummage sales and I saw somebody pick up, I'm pretty sure this item, new sealed in front of me. I didn't really know what it was. Uh, maybe it's the same person selling it at a garage sale now, who knows? But I scanned this on Amazon, it's selling for $155. And I should make, I think it was like $107 after fees. I sold Reliant stuff before. I got at Home Depot some, I believe it was like generator fuse boxes, something like that. I paid $75 a piece for them. I sold them for $200 and they moved super quick. Even some of the metal boxes were selling for like $40, $50. So when I saw that name, I'm, I thought it would be worth it and it was. We picked up this glove. I didn't want to pay $10 for it. It's not like a super nice glove. It's in good condition. But uh, yeah, it looks like I can sell this for $30 plus shipping. I might just sell it for like $37 free shipping because I can fit this in a priority mail bubble mailer, I think. It's that time of year where people are buying gloves. I've been selling a lot of my gloves and baseball bats that I've picked up over the past year. So we'll get that listed quick and it should move fairly quickly. Then right here, we just picked up this sports armband radio GPX. It's only 50 cents. That's why I picked it up. I'll be able to sell this for $14.99. Jogging season, people like to buy these, wear them. $14.99, you know, in the end, I'll probably make right around $10. It's going to cost me about three something to ship this. So for a $10 bill, I'll pick this kind of stuff up all day long. And then we have this Fagor, I guess it is, um, pressure cooker. I've sold this brand before. I picked one up at Goodwill. It was a little bit bigger than this. I sold it for, I think, $60 plus shipping, something like that. So this one's new and it has the paperwork and the utensils, stuff like that in there. It looks like I'll be able to sell this between $40 and $45. See, I paid $15 for it, so you know we'll make some profit in the end. We picked up these San Antonio Shoe Company shoes, $5. They look to be unworn as well. Anyone who watches my videos a lot knows last garage sale season, I picked up a pair of, I think it was free times, used and new at the same sale. They were a dollar a piece. I sold the used pair for $60 plus shipping. I sold the new pair for $120. Incredible pickups. Unfortunately, this pair is not as good. I still think I'll make $20 profit on these just because of the condition. Not all San Antonio Shoe Company shoes are equal. There's definitely ones that move better than others. The free times and the timeouts, those are the ones you really want to look for. Larger sizes, wide sizes, like 4 4E or something like that, uh, they're going to move very well. Then at the, the rummage sale I stopped at, uh, this morning, I picked up this uh, turtle here, Michelangelo, and yeah, he was a dollar, and I just picked him up to throw in my Ninja Turtle collection. Apparently, I'm a Ninja Turtle collector now, because I just keep picking this stuff up and deciding to keep it, and move on with my life, and just hoard Ninja Turtle stuff. The vintage Ninja Turtle stuff, I really don't care about newer items. This one's kind of new. It's 2003, but that's about where I cut off. I looked it up just to see, and it's actually kind of rare. It's like a really, it's a plush, but it's kind of bendable. It's got like wires underneath. Um, it's really well made. The only comp I saw for this was from the UK. Sold for like $20, so <laughs> I don't know. For a dollar, I could probably make some money on it. However, I'll just keep it. Then right here, we just got this Harry Potter book for 50 cents at the rummage sale. And yeah, we uh, pick these up and lot them together once we get a full set. This type of book right here, if you find the first one, uh, always check and make sure if it's the first print. I went over this in a video not too long ago and somebody uh, left a comment like a week later saying that after they watched my video, they ended up finding one of these and selling it. it seemed like they said $1,300. So if you find the, the first edition, first print of the first Harry Potter book can be some good money. Speaking of good money, here we have this 8-track right here, which ends up being very rare, this Kiss Animalize. Um, yeah, when I, when I went to that sale, I saw these, and I, you know, you pick up knowledge over the years. 8-tracks I usually don't pick up. I don't really care about them. They're not worth a lot of money. A lot of them, if I see like special ones like, um, you know, classic rock and stuff that's kind of popular, unique looking, you know, I might pay attention to them. But I knew that Kiss had some good ones and uh, I saw these and I'm like, eh, I don't want to mess with them. And I walked out of the sale and I stopped and I, like, I'm going to look this up real quick. So I did, I looked up Kiss 8 tracks. I saw that there was a couple rare ones that was selling for uh, up, up into the hundreds, like 200. I'll put a screenshot of some of the other ones that were selling. And I'm like, for a quarter, rather than try to figure it out this yard sale, I'm just going to buy all four of these eight tracks. 
I get it home, I do my research, and sure enough, this is a very rare one. There are currently none listed for sale on eBay. There are no comps to show, but I went to Terra Peak Research on the eBay website, and we found some that sold within the last 365 days, all the way from like $180 up until like $320, $350, something like that. And I also went and set, checked a uh, music blog that... You know, some people get on there and they talk about music and they, they'll sell some of their stuff. They had it listed that the last one that sold was from 2019 and it sold for 180 some dollars. And the label was in this condition. So unfortunately, my label is in bad condition. If this was, like, let's just say the label was in, like, mint condition, I would probably try to get $500 for this. Being the only one that, you know, maybe in the world has it listed on um, online for sale. Um, somebody's going to pay $500 for a mint condition. What can I get for this label? I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not sure how music collectors want their labels. I'm sure it's like video game collectors. They want the stuff as pristine as possible. Uh, but I don't know how much it actually affects the value here. Plus, you know, I don't have any way to test it. Uh, so yeah, um, it got stains on it. It's unfortunate. I'm thinking I'm just going to put it on eBay for 300 bucks. Uh, see if it sells, um, see what kind of interest it gets, and just go from there. So there's a pretty big bolo for you if you find Kiss Animalize 8-track out there. Actually, seems to be worth some money. And we just picked up the rest of them because uh, they were a quarter. We got Scandal here. Uh, didn't look like it was too great. Now here's this Foreigner I looked up, and there was one for sale for $70. However, there was no solds. And I didn't really see any more listed, I don't think. So, you know, maybe I can make a little bit of money on this one. And uh, we got this League Fascination, which I don't even know. I think I looked this up. I didn't even see any online either. Maybe some more of these are more rare. I don't know. I'll have to do a bit more research on those. But definitely this one is, is nice. At that rummage sale, I just picked up this pumpkin. It's not super old. I've been looking for a pumpkin like this as vintage. You know as old as possible but it plugs in you can it lights up tag said it works it was a dollar i picked up i'll probably just keep it I'm, i don't think there's any value because this one's a newer one probably within the last you know 15 20 years then for 50 cents we just picked up this trackball logitech mouse some of these are incredible um at least i think i haven't come across any in a long time i know sealed uh they used to go for two three hundred dollars certain models anyway i'm not sure about this one uh, this one, pre-owned, um, is only selling for like $15. But again, it's light. It's going to ship first class, and I'm paying $0.50 cents for it. So I just went ahead and picked it up. They're easy to test. I plug it in the laptop. You know, it takes five seconds to test the, the buttons. So there it is, everybody. That's the haul. First community sale of the year, and then a rubbish sale the next day. You just never know what you're going to find when you go to garage sales, just like the Kiss right here. You got over $100 profit in this. Some shoes. You know what? We're going to make some great money. I don't know how much, but it's going to be on the screen, the estimated profit. If anyone has any information about this Kiss Animalize, I know there's some people who are really into music and collecting music. Uh, let me know. But before you go, hit that like button for me. I really appreciate you watching. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. This has been Wick. Till next time.